Hi, and welcome to Environmental Science Today. Let's all make a homemade aquarium using simple recycled materials from a snack jar, an air pump that we buy for about $6 at your local department store, a used but clean dog food can made of aluminum with a cap, some knee-high nylon, 78 cents from a department store, used it but clean peanut butter jar, aquarium gravel, activated charcoal, and of course decorations for aesthetics, as well as your standard airline tube. Okay, so let's get started. Today we're going to start out by making our aquarium by measuring out some of our airline tubing. Let's say about um, 12 inches, so let's say about 12 inches, 24, let's say about 36 inches, how about? We'll snap that off with a pair of scissors. Make a nice clean cut because we're going to use this tubing to attach to our aquarium air pump on one end which will be our air source for our aquarium and on the other end we are going to insert it into our used dog food lid okay so what I'll begin by doing is taking a small implement here in this case I'm using a, an eye hook I'm going to insert it into the plastic lid and I'm going to slowly make a hole that will be tight enough for the plastic tubing to fit through Sometimes you might want to use a pair of needle nose pliers to help you out with this, get the tubing to pass through cleanly. Make sure that you lubricate the tubing. Here I'm just going to wet the end of it and we'll try to get it through. There we go, no problem. So there we go, I'll pull it through. That's the first lacing, the first stage in our filtration can. Here I have my nylon stocking. I'm going to fill that with a little bit of the activated carbon. Okay, it's a good idea to rinse your activated charcoal, activated charcoal. And it's a good idea to rinse your activated charcoal before you go ahead and insert it in your water. It clears away all of the charcoal dust. So, here we go, a little bit in there. Now, activated charcoal is going to work uh, for us in a positive way. It's going to work to filter the water. Okay, it acts as a filtration agent. It's used in much of the drinking water that... Uh, um, and wastewater treatment plants in town and um, many hobbyists also use it as a means to filter water uh, for their aquariums. So here we have our activated carbon filtration can. We'll go ahead and snap that together. Now that's a clean little unit. What we want to do here is it's important that we make a couple of holes in the base of our can. There we go. There's one two, you can use two, maybe three, four, that's plenty. The purpose of these are, these are going to be entrance ports for water once it is submerged in our aquarium, recycled aquarium um, full, containing our water. Uh, at the top of the dog food can, you want to make a couple of holes up there because once the water enters through these portals, it will then um, be forced, displaced out by the air that we pump into the canister and it will exit through these top portals where you'll make two little holes for that exit. Okay, so there, we have that complete. Now, if you had a small jug, you wanted to use that, that would be good enough to go ahead and start your processing, your filtration system. But I like to go ahead and make a uh, secondary cylinder which acts as a, a filtration, um, increases the pressure in the entire system. Um, what I do there is I use this used GIF jar. I'll make a small hole in the base of this GIF jar. And this is actually going to um, act as an intake portal for water at the base of our recycled aquarium. All right, there we go. Once I have that done, I can insert my filtration can. Now, sometimes you have to kind of maneuver these through there, but don't worry, you can get it done. Just reach in, give it a little snap. 
like I said, sometimes it get, gives you a little bit of difficulty. There, there we go. No problem. Okay, now that I have my secondary cylinder, I'm ready to make a hole for the uh, tubing entrance or exit right here in our used peanut butter top. Again, I'm going to use my eye screw to just go ahead and make a small hole. I try to keep the holes a little bit small so that the tubing makes a nice, clean fit seal around the lid. Now, again, remember to lubricate. Insert the tubing, pull through, and lace it down. Okay, now that we have our system put together, one thing that I like to do, it's a little bit of an added biological filtration process, um, or an addition to our mechanical filtration process, we're going to take a biological uh, approach also. We're going to take a little bit of our aquarium gravel here. It's going to help us weigh down our jib uh, peanut butter can. I'm going to give you just a little bit of rock here in the bottom. Okay, so that's going to add a little bit of weight to the whole system to keep us from floating all the way to the top of the surface. Okay, so here is my the body of the filtration system. Here is the actual tank. Here is our pump. We'll get started on the connecting the pump. Remember, when you're using tap water from uh, the sink or any local water source, remember that you need to condition that. You need to rem uh, condition that water and remove the chlorine from that water. Here I have tap water conditioner and I also have uh, um, nitrogen cycle starter. Okay, the nitrogen cycle is uh, crucial to the whole success of your aquarium. Alright, so you want to make sure that you have dechlorinated water. You want to start either start, jump start the nitrogen cycle with a friendly bacteria or you could let it filter for a few days and let the nitrogen cycle begin on its, its own. Probably that might be the best way to go, but either way you choose, it's your homemade aquarium. You get to have fun with it. Okay, so, here, we'll just plug up our pump, plug up the tubing, Make a hole in the top of our aquarium lid. Ah! One step, I skipped over. Easily fixed. Insert. It's a good idea to go ahead and fill this up with a little water prior to inserting into the aquarium so that you can go ahead and sink. Now, did we make holes in the top of our peanut butter jar for our escape portals? Ah, I think we forgot. So let's go ahead and make one escape hole here for some of the air to ri that rises to the top. Give the eye hook a good twist. make our connection. Now once you get this put together, make sure that you rinse off some of your aquarium gravel, add it to the base, make sure that you insert some